I'm Alexis Pfeiffer, and this is how I made it. My first introduction to fashion was when I was about 10 years old. Uh, my grandmother would take my two cousins and I with her to fashion shows at Neiman Marcus and Saks. And I remember thinking like, you know, wow, like how is it that these girls look, you know, this amazing. So after the show was over, she would take us uh, backstage and we would get to meet the designers. And I think it was like love at first sight because I just knew that that was something that I wanted to do. I loved just that whole creative part of it. I was born and raised in Los Angeles, California. And uh, I think being from LA, the fashion here is a lot more laid back. And that kind of is what my style is. It's very laid back. And um, it was also influenced by my dad. He had a very simple, you know, just classic style. And I really, he was probably my first fashion muse without me even realizing it. My official first proper garment, uh, I'd have to say, was my prom dress. And to make sure no one else had the same thing, it was a combination of uh, a dress, pants, and shorts. And it sounds quite complicated, but it was really quite elegant. I would recommend anyone uh, to go to school for fashion if that's what their passion is. I just learned so much there that you know I thought I didn't need to know. But I learned, you know, how to sketch properly, how to make patterns, um, put together collections. So it is really helpful. I would recommend it for anyone wanting to get into the business. I realized I wanted my own line when I had a very close friend, Pega Ann Varian, and she was a designer. And after I would leave school, um, I would go over to her. She had a showroom downtown. And I just saw that it was possible for an independent person to start a line. So she was very inspiring to me and I just took her like playbook and knew how to apply it to me having my own line. Well, I wanted the line to be named after a girl. So I researched um, different girl names and I came across Gita and for some reason it just stuck with me. I, um, and it was also associated with a lot of positive things like the Guru Gita and um, it was like my baby, it was something I'd be watching over so that it just fit with me. Uh, the resources you need in place to start a line, I would suggest definitely um, having a business plan. You want to map everything out for yourself. It is a business so you want to follow a certain protocol and I would also recommend you know you need your proper production people in place and great fabric sources, so uh, that's a great place to start. Uh, my definition of style, I don't think that it's necessarily wearing designer brands, you know. It's how comfortable you are and, you know, the things that you choose to wear and, you know, how you rock them. So that to me is what, you know, style is. I love how stores like H&M are doing designer collaborations, so I guess overall I just feel like there's more opportunity to get your name out there, branch off and do different things as a designer or stylist. I style freelance and I also work with a company called The Vanity Group. I realized I could branch out further as a stylist when um, I felt comfortable in the sense that I knew how to do it. Um, and I started reaching out to people I know who could help me. And I've been very fortunate enough, you know, where they felt confident in me. And, um, you know, I just hope to, uh, you know, grow as a designer and a stylist. And I would love to be a fashion editor of a magazine one day. Uh, you know, and just work with good creative people also where we have the same vision and want the same outcome. So, yeah, we'll see.